Hi guys, welcome back to Waxing On. Wednesday, and it's classic rock. But today, classic rock with a twist. Uh, we're looking at a rock opera uh, performance soundtrack, and it is the Rocky Horror Show. And I know what you're saying, no, no, it's the Rocky Horror Picture Show. No, it's the Rocky Horror Show. Uh, this is what we had for a format before we ended up in the video. Uh, 1973, the Rocky Horror Show opened in West End, London. Uh, 74, opening in Los Angeles. And as a stage production, it still featured some of the same players. I mean, Tim Curry, still playing the lead as Dr. Frankenfurter. We've got Meatloaf on here. Um, a lot of the same characters. Now, we don't have Sarandon, we don't have Barry Boswick, we've got some other people filling in on there. Uh, the cast for this, I'll read off some of the names in case you might recognize who's here. Jamie Donnelly, Bonnie Enton, Abigail Hennes, Alan Martin, Meatloaf, Kim Milford, B. Miller, Susan Morse, John Mark Robinson, and Bruce Scott. Uh, Graham Jarvis was the narrator for this one, and the musical direction, Devon Pershing. Now, a lot of the same tunes, I mean, it's all the same show. 1974. Four, maybe 75 we ended up with the actual movie version the Rocky Horror Picture Show and really this was the first album I had heard now after getting my ears used to the performers on here the way they presented the music the way it uh, it came across I found Rocky Horror Picture Show for me didn't match up and I know a lot of you're gonna say whoa whoa you can't say anything bad about Rocky Horror Picture Show I'm not saying anything bad saying that to my ears, considering I had first listened to this one, this is what I'm comparing it to, and I really enjoyed the performers that were on the actual Roxy album. Um, Rocky Horror, I mean, 1975 till now, it's, it's never gone out of style. Cult classic. We have an independent theater in Ottawa, uh, Mayfair Theater on Bank Street in Ottawa, and Rocky Horror has been part of their roster for as long as I can remember. They show it on a very regular basis. That in the movie The Room, which I don't know if you've heard of it, The Room, touted as being the worst film ever made. Yeah, the Mayfair shows that one a lot too. Uh, they were running it every month for a while. I don't know if they still are since the pandemic happened. I don't know what will happen when they come back, but it used to be a monthly feature and uh, always had a good turnout for that. So they were doing a little quirky programs this one when Mayfair has Rocky Horror Picture or yeah, Rocky Horror Picture Show they have uh, a lot of audience participation involved so you have to be prepared for that if you go so yes I'm not putting down Rocky Horror Picture Show and that's uh, also a great album I mean obviously we still have Meatloaf and uh, and uh, Tim Curry but this one with the original cast from the Roxy to me just had better styling to it now Tim Curry I've been aware of. We have an FM station. I've talked about that a few times up here. Um, the second album came out. They were playing that I Do the Rock. And that's the first thing I, I knew by Tim Curry. So I was kind of aware of who he was by the time I'd heard this album. But obviously things really took off for him when Rocky Horror took off and Rocky Horror Picture Show. And uh, he's never looked back. He only made three albums as a performer, as a singer. He made more, uh, more of a career in the movies. So anyways, that's what I'm looking at today. It was Rocky Horror Show. If you get a chance to find the Roxy version, give it a listen. Uh, you may find, what I'm mentioning, some of the performances are just a little bit different than the, the movie. And it may just depend which one you've heard first, which one you like best. But it's uh, just another version of an excellent cult classic that's uh, worth having in your collection. Okay, that's it for today, Wednesday, Classic Rock. We'll see you on Friday. Friday we're going to continue in the comedy vein, but with uh, a musician that, well, he's a musician and a comedian that you may be a little more familiar with. So check in on Friday and see what that's all about. Till then, everybody have a great day. Take care, stay safe, and we'll see you on Friday.